Hi, I'm Sean Carroll Sandy of The Selling Agency, and I've got some tips for you today on selling for non-salespeople. You may have heard this phrase, everyone is in sales, and it's really true. So as I started working with business owners and salespeople, I realized there are some really specific things to address with people who are not technically in sales or may not have sales in their title. So I created a group, several groups actually, and programs around selling for non-salespeople because whether you're an attorney or an accountant, a banker, or work in a large organization, you've got to sell your ideas. You may have to sell a proposal. You, you may actually sell if you own a small business or are in the service industry. So here's today's tip for selling for non-salespeople. Know what you're selling. If you are someone who owns a hair salon, you're not selling haircuts. You're selling confidence. You're selling someone's personal style. Um, you, have you ever heard this expression? And I don't know which wise sales sage said it, but sell the hole, not the drill. Meaning people don't really need a drill. They need a hole. They need the end result. A drill is one way to get there. Granted, I can't tell you a lot of other ways to get a hole <laughs> other than a drill, but you could, get, you could probably accomplish something many different ways. The what you're selling is one way to get there. So say, for instance, you're a, um, you're a technology outsource firm. So you provide talent to do technology projects in a company. Well, one way a company could accomplish a pro technology project is to do it in-house, to have their own IT team do it. Um, they could have their VARs, their value-added resellers, uh, bring on, them on board to implement the project because they bought the, the service from them. Or they could go to a third party. So there's many different ways to get to the outcome. You're selling the outcome. And then the way you talk about it is how you do that uniquely. So know what you're selling. If you're in banking, you're selling smart decisions, uh, financial security. If you're an attorney, you're selling someone who, you're, you're, what you're selling might be um, accessibility. Know what you're selling. It's not necessarily the hard products or services or even the capabilities you provide. You've got to know what you sell so that you can talk to, about, to people about the end result and then you can tell them how you get them there. So look for more tips on selling for non-salespeople coming soon. I'm Sean Carroll Sandy of The Selling Agency.